we have a pretty strong uh, placement cell that's usually handled by each department individually. So our department uh, kind of has one cent- one coordinator who um, get- gets in touch with different companies and kind of invites them over to come to our campus to um, talk to us about career opportunities at their companies. I got this job through an alumnus who got in touch with this same coordinator who wanted to like uh, get in touch with some students who are graduating and you know wanted wanted to interview them for like openings at eBay. Specifically, I had five. Um, about four of the, three of those were standard, you know, whiteboarding programming interviews where you, you're asked a problem and you're, you need to come up with an optimal or at least a working solution and you showcase it to the engineer and show that, you know, it actually works with proof of concept. Um, one of the other ones was a lunch interview with, with uh, my director who kind of just wanted to talk to me about what my career aspirations were and what I've done in the past, kind of but just a background check, or a background uh, screener sort of interview and the last one was a design interview where I was asked by one of the one of our senior engineer to kind of de- come up with an optimal design for a large scale distributed system that you know if we were to take to uh, were to actually feel that product could uh, work optimally so usually that's kind of the system you have some design in- interviews and you have mostly programming and whiteboarding interviews and one at best uh, background interview Recruiters who are looking for distributed uh, systems will actually look for active knowledge in distributed systems in your coursework as well as in your past projects. Or if it's more of a data science or machine learning kind of job, they'll look for uh, you know those uh, those kind of experiences in your past. So it kind of depends on what field, you, what role you're actually applying for. The university does help out its students a lot for jobs. We have a buy and I mean, we have two uh, career fairs throughout the year, uh, which are basically a lot of com- a lot of the big companies in it, throughout the U.S. come down and have their own booths where they like to interact with the students and kind of tell them about what uh, job opportunities are open. So we have all the big companies like Amazon, Uber, Google, Facebook. They just come down, talk to us, you know, collect resumes. Probably, and sometimes even they have uh, interviews directly on the spot itself. So if you're, if you, if they clear you there, they'll fly you straight into their campuses for on-site interviews as well. I took a couple of courses in e-commerce, project management, and uh, some in distributed uh, systems as well. So I think uh, eBay, you know, is is doing is kind of in all three fields. So. Uh, those ones were the most helpful, I guess. Working hours are pretty flexible, so most of the team comes in at around uh, 10, 30, 11 and then leaves by around 5, 36, depending on you know, how much work they have. And most of our work is around active development of our features or things that we want to see, you know, eBay do. but. Uh, we also spend about 20% of our time on maintenance to make sure that the existing code is you know, functional as well as if any issues uh, come up because of these bugs, then we have to look into those as well. And we also sometimes have to work on designing and modeling future systems that we might want to invest our time in.